Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool boho crystal hanging wind chimes using just a few ingredients and some items from nature. So if this looks like something you'd like to do, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what we're going to need for today's project. First of all, use uh, I have an assortment of crystals here that I'm going to be using. These are just small, random crystals and stones that I've co collected throughout the years. Um, you can go outside and find rocks in nature. You can use seashells. You could use stones from the Dollar Tree. Um, anything that sparks your imagination. So I'm going to be using these. Um, I have an assortment of pliers, uh, flat nose, round nose, and um, little mini wire cutters. Use whatever you have on hand. We're going to be using a stick. <laughs> Again, go out in nature, take a walk, see, you know, don't take anything from a living tree. Find something on the ground. Um, give thanks after you take it. And then a little sandpaper to sand it up and remove the bark. You can paint this if you'd like. I'm choosing to leave mine natural. Um, we're going to be using some eye screws and I have some jute twine um, or any kind of cording that we're going to use to hang the stick. Um, I have some silver wire here. Um, you can use the wire of your choice. Um, you want a little bit of a stronger gauge. You don't want it too flimsy. And various charms of your choice. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet, but I just have some assorted charms um, that I've gotten from the auction or my travels. So charms of your choice. And that's it for supplies. I'll be back in a second to show you how we're going to wrap these. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how I wrap a crystal. Um, the fun part about this project is that there's really no right way to do it. Um, the way that it turns out so cool looking is that it's organic. So kind of do your own thing and honestly I don't know, I couldn't tell you what I do so I'm going to show you. I like to keep my wire attached to the spool until I cut it. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a piece here and I'm going to pick a random crystal. How about this one? And I just lay it kind of here in the middle-ish and I'll wrap around and then in the back I want to cross my wires. So we're going to, we're kind of making a little cage for the crystal or the stone. Um, and again, just kind of conform your wire as much as you can. And then, I told you, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to keep this piece out and wrap until I feel like I'm done. So a couple times. And then, and it's not tight. doesn't really feel like, hmm. So I'm going to mess with the wires a little bit. And I'm going to cut off, oh, about here. So, what did I do? Here we go. And I'm going to feed this piece through to a wire in the back. I just want to kind of catch it and try to make it a little more secure. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go through these two, too. I just encourage you to play, uh, see what you come up with. If it feels like it's getting hard, you can always use your um, pliers to pull it through, right? So, oh my, what do we got here? Alrighty, I have sort of a cage, and to tighten this up now, I am going to, you know what, I don't like that loop right there at all. So I'm going to feed through this guy again. 
and okay I'm going to kind of hold these wires in the back then I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to twist at various places on the wire and this is tightening the wire around the stone do it in various places again you want to you know kind of make this cage sorry guys of course I'm nervous because I'm on camera same thing in the back we're gonna tighten these wires and lay them down uh, let's see okay so it's not you know the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in the world but not too shabby and then with the wires that we have in the back which this one's a little shorter than I'd like but we're just gonna make some curly cues here and this is how we're gonna be able to attack you know I'll do it with the bigger one so you can see better I'm just gonna wrap it once around and then again so we have a loop. You see that? I hope you're seeing. Then I'm going to take my flat nose pliers and not pinch it too hard, but just kind of hold it and turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it until we have this little loop on the bottom. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the top. I'm just going to turn it until I get my loop. Then I take my flat nose and just kind of ease into it. Okay? So, do as many of these as you want your chain to be long, your chain of crystals to be long. And then when you have a few you're going to take here I'll take I did a, a couple here uh, we're gonna join them together and so all I do is I'll take a small piece little scrap piece of wire and we're going to just you could do this with a jump ring too if you wanted but we're just going to I'm gonna put a piece of wire in and another one here and we're just going to bend it up and I'm going to twist these a few times and then I'm going to just cut off these little ends and watch your eyes I'll be vacuuming later <laughs> and I'm just gonna push these two sharp ends together and then we have two joined crystals and here's another two and I'm just gonna keep continue adding these uh, in a line and again I'm not really sure how many I'm gonna do and you can adjust the wire like I'm not liking how that's looking so I would say I'm probably going to do maybe six or seven, but we'll see. So I'm going to continue joining these together, and then we'll come back here, and I'll show you how we're going to attach them to the stick, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you where we're at and how we're going to finish this up. Um, I took the stick, and I did um, cut this down a little bit, and I gave it a sanding, and I just tied some of the um, jute cord around, and I added a moon and pentacle charm, and a little bead. I wanted it to look very rustic and so I'm going to set that aside for a second and then here are the crystal strands and again I showed you how we attach them. Um, they're not going to hang perfectly which I like. I like the organic look of it. So you can do as many of these as you'd like. I did three strands of seven um, and 
Next, I'm going to tell you how we're going to attach these. Um, I took some jump rings and I told you we have our eye screws. So right now, I'll just show you with one example and then I'll do all of them and I'll tell you how we're going to do this. So I'm just going to open this up. Again, I have my little pliers here. Oh, it's bad. I need to put my glasses on, you guys. Oh, that's so funny. I can't see anymore. There we go. In addition to not being able to see, I have no strength in my hands. So we're just going to open that up, and I'm going to feed it through the top ring of one of my crystal strands. And I'm going to take our eye screw. And you could do this after you screwed in the eye screws. Um, either way. And actually that might be easier to do it. But And then we're going to just close it up tight. Okay. And I'm going to do all of these. And then I'm going to take a hammer and a nail. And I'm just going to make three small holes in the bottom. Uh, one in the middle and one on either side little starter holes for our nail and then I will be taking the eye screw and putting it in and screwing them in and I'll be back when that's done and our crystals are hanging. See you in a second. Okay guys here it is hanging. I apologize for the lighting we just had a thunderstorm roll in but I think it looks great and if you think it looks great too don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I've been posting videos very frequently. So this was a quick and easy fun to make project. I hope you like it and if you do tag me and let me know what you come up with. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Blessed be.